What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm gonna be showing you two different products which have both made over $100,000. I will of course be showing you the evidence behind this as well. So we'll be taking a look at the Facebook ad itself that has generated these results. I will of course show you the product and where you can source this from. So if you did wanna consider selling one of these products yourself, then you can, you know where to go to to get it. All of these products, by the way, are current and up to date. They're currently being paid to be advertised today. So if you are thinking about starting your business soon, then definitely give one of these products a consideration. And we will of course be taking look at the actual Shopify store and the product page of these products that we can use, see what kind of strategies they're using, the content, the descriptions that we can of course take and use for inspiration to implement into our own businesses. And information like this is invaluable, especially if you're a beginner, there's no one better to learn from than people who are already doing it successfully. So make sure you take some notes, look at the kind of things that these guys are doing and implement them into your own business. And with that being said, there's not a lot more to say. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoy it and let's jump straight into it. Okay, so product number one, in which want to show you guys is this enchanted lunar lamp and um, there's a few different reasons and why it features in this video why it deserves to feature in this video so before we go through the numbers let's take a look at some of the validation so this is a breakdown essentially of the post of the facebook ad details taken from drop a spy drop spy is a brilliant tool by the way i'm not affiliated with them in any single way um, if you are looking for a way to find like really good proven products such as this one super quick um, then definitely check them out so first of all let's go over the information in the top right corner we can see this post was created back in april 2021 and the last seen date was today March 7th, which is the date I'm recording this video. So it just goes to show it's a tried and tested product um, over a long period of time. Most products tend to kind of fall off after that Q4 period. But what we can see from this is that because of the type of product it is, it's going to sell consistently throughout the year. So if you are looking for something that you can kind of sell for the next couple of years consistently, um, then potentially this is the right product for you. We can also see a summary of the reactions in this bottom left hand corner here, 86,000 likes, which is obviously pretty incredible with 20,000 love reactions, um, 12,000 shares and 14,000 comments. Um, if we actually jump into Facebook and take a look at the ad itself, um, there's something I want to show you which is even more important than engagements. You may have heard me talk about it a lot recently in my recent videos because it's super, super important if you're doing product research and you're trying to find products which are going to give you the best chances of success, then this is essentially what you're looking for. So Sylvia here says she loves her light. It's so gentle in the bedroom, so she's obviously purchased it. In fact, she even goes on to say an absolutely wonderful purchase. Um, Sarah Astin says, absolutely thrilled to receive my lamp. Um, I got this for my daughter from Dawn. Mary says, I ordered one this morning. Um, Mary, a different Mary says, I brought one initially. Um, absolutely love it. Danielle also says, I bought one of these. In fact, this was from 40 weeks ago. So if we go back to the top and instead of most relevant, go for newest, then we can see just how recently people are commenting. So, um, 25 weeks, I don't know why that's at the top. Let's open up some of these and try and find some more recent ones. Um, so comments are from as little as eight hours ago. So it just goes to show it is still current. People are still commenting um, one day, two day, three days ago, so on and so forth. Um, Rose says she has this for her son. This was three days ago. Nancy says that she has one. However, it took 15 days to get here. So that's kind of like a telltale sign. They are indeed drop shipping this product, which I'll prove to you in a second when I show you it on AliExpress. One week ago, Karen says she bought two for Christmas. So it just goes to show people are still commenting recently. So um, Kelly L. Lang, one week ago, I bought three of these. So so that's pretty surprising actually. I don't think people would buy more than one, um, but just goes to show people don't only see products on Facebook as things they buy for themselves. If you've got a product which makes a really nice gift, then that can also be kind of like one of the ingredients to a quote unquote winning product. Next up then, let's take a look at the Shopify store. It's always a important um, part of the puzzle, part of the jigsaw. Again, you may have heard me mention it in previous videos that there's kind of three core elements or three pillars to success when it comes with e-commerce. Um, number one is obviously the product, probably the most important one. Number two is the Shopify store. You've got to have somewhat of a decent Shopify store so people trust you enough to make a purchase. And then of course, number three is you need a really effective Facebook ad, which these guys obviously have. I forgot to mention the fact that they're just using a single image. Um, this is an image taken from AliExpress. So if you are looking for literally the simplest of products to get started with and the quickest of products to get started with, then this could definitely be the one for you. One of the other contributing factors, I believe, of why this product's been so, so successful uh, 
um, is because it's an LED product. Um, LED products have that wow factor, which means they're going to get attention online. Um, the sole kind of objective of your Facebook ad is to get somebody to stop scrolling through their newsfeed and take attention of what it is you're trying to display or what it is you're trying to sell. That's literally half the battle of your Facebook ad. And LED products do a really nice job of this because of the effects they have, because of the effects that lights have. It's been proven that lights make humans produce endorphins it actually makes people feel good when they see lights because it gives off a nice effect which is one of the reasons why led products are such a good niche and such a good kind of range of products to consider um, selling obviously just keep in mind if you are going to build a niche around led products whether they're indoor or outdoor products will determine whether they're going to be products that kind of spike in popularity um, essentially during winter time or whether they're going to be products like this which go indoors and going to sell all year round basically so with that being said if we go back to the store we can see they do pretty much everything um, to an adequate standard it's kind of like a quite a nice and neat and tidy store um, it doesn't look like a paid theme to me it looks like a pretty basic free theme so it just goes to show you haven't got to spend a lot to have an effective store at the top they've got the catalog about us i typically put this in the footer track your order which is important shipping info, info which is important and contact us which is obviously super important what you have to keep in mind is that as a new business or or even if you're not a new business, the first time somebody comes across your business, there's going to be all these kind of subconscious hurdles people have in their minds that you need to overcome in order for them to make a purchase with you. And they want to know things like, is their payment information secure? Um, when are they going to receive the product? Can they track the product? Can they get hold of you if there's a problem with the order? So these are all the sorts of things you need to have on your store if you're going to be successful. Not to spend too much time on it then, but if we go through the product description, we can see it's pretty basic. Um, a couple of lines followed by a nice effective image of how the lamp looks. A couple more lines, nice effective image. A couple more lines, and then they've got this kind of pledge to plant a tree um, whether they do so or not I have no idea to be honest I haven't done the research into this company and um, they've got a nice big 30 day money back guarantee to put the customer's mind at ease that they can get a refund if they don't like it they have a kind of like short sharp FAQ which is a nice touch to put in the product page and then of course we've all seen this app before it's looks reviews and these are the sort of images which will help sell your product tenfold as for sourcing this product then if you want to find it on Aliexpress the search term you need to be using is enchanted lamp um, these are the initial results that came up. As we can see, there's multiple different suppliers of this particular product. I usually like to filter by most orders and start with the biggest suppliers of a particular product um, to start my research so I can get kind of like a good idea of who can ship it the quickest and for the best price. But what we can see is you can source these products for in and around sort of $14. Um, if we nip back to their website, they can, they're selling it for £32, which is probably about $40, $45. So it's a good kind of $25, $30 profit margin um, of room to be made per sale, which is pretty decent and definitely affordable when it comes to Facebook ad costs. So as for the numbers, then you may still be wondering how I know it's made over $100,000. So let's jump into the numbers now. Um, and this is how we're going to work it out. So all you need to know to kind of get a rough ballpark figure of how much money a Facebook ad has made is to work out how many clicks it has had and because we can see how many engagements it's had we can work out roughly how many clicks it's had and then we can go on from there so if i take you through the process step by step right now um, any future posts or facebook ads that you come across um, you can use this formula to kind of work out roughly how much money that particular ad is making so first of all let's start with the amount of shares which is eleven thousand. in fact if we go back to drop spy i think it was a bit more than that it said twelve thousand. so twelve thousand shares is how much um, this particular facebook ad has had and what i'm going to do is kind of take my own ad results to use to kind of base and work out um, how many clicks this has had so if we take a look at one of my best performing um, campaigns um, at the top here for this particular ad account, we can see that this post has had 414 shares. And let me just scroll across so you can see this with a reach of 260,000 people. So what we need to do is divide their amount of shares by my amount of shares, and that will give us their reach. So my shares are 400. The shares on this particular post is 12,000. So if we bring up our calculator and we can put in there 12,000 shares divided by 400, um, equals 30 so they have 30 times the amount of shares that I do what we now need to do is times my reach by 30 and that will give us the reach of their ad as well so if we take that 30 and times it by the 260,000 of that campaign that we just saw 
that gives us a reach of 7.8 million. Now, if we take an average kind of click through rate, link click through rate, which is really average for a decent ad set, then this will give us the amount of people who have actually clicked the link in the ad and gone to the website. So what we can do is times this 7.8 million by 0.02. Um, and that gives us 156,000 clicks. So what we now know up to this point is that this particular Facebook ad has in and around 156,000 clicks. It could be a lot more, could be a lot less, but this is gonna give us a rough average. What we now need to do is take an average conversion rate of a Shopify store. If we take a look at this Shopify store, which corresponds to that ad account in which we just saw, we can see the online store conversion rate for this particular product. Um, is 3.51% with an average order value of in and around sort of $45. So that just goes to show it's a similar sort of product in a similar sort of price range. So what I'm gonna do is base our numbers on a 3.5 conversion rate as well. So what we can do now is we can take this 156,000 clicks and we can times it by 3.5% to give us the amount of orders in which this product has had. So to do that, we times it by 0.035 and that gives us approximately five and a half thousand orders. All we need now then to work out the total revenue generated is in fact the product price, which is 32 pounds. So if we bring back our calculator and times this by 32 pounds, that gives us a total revenue generated of 174,720 pounds and converted into US dollars is give or take about $200,000. Now, obviously these are rough ballpark figures, but I think it's safe to say that this product is made well in excess of $100,000. It's currently being advertised today, so it's still a current tried and tested verified winning product. So again, if you are considering or looking for products to get started with your business, then definitely give this one a consideration. And with that being said, let's move on to product number two. Moving on to product number two, then we have this pet product or more specifically a dog product. I'll play the Facebook ad for you now so you can see exactly what it is. Um, so essentially, just to kind of talk you through it as the ad plays in the background, um, it's basically a plastic beaker with these soft brush rubber bristles in that you fill full of water. So after a dog walk, you can kind of dip your dog's paws in it and it'll get rid of any muck or mud um, just to clean their paws off. So even if they are running around on your carpet, so in your car, then it's not mud that they're traipsing in. It is just kind of clean water, which trust me um, is a lot better than having mud um, on your dog's paws. It has a pretty nice feature, which we just saw that you can kind of drag out. Um, I believe some of them are actually dishwasher proof too, which is a big plus. So all in all, a pretty neat product because it's in that kind of pet niche too. We obviously know pet products are super effective um, on Facebook for social media, because if we go back to that rule, which I mentioned in the first half of the video, half the battle for your Facebook ad is to capture attention and pets, animals, having fun, doing silly daft things, um, always capture attention. There's nothing better at capturing attention, in my opinion, in fact, on social media than a cute dog, puppy, kitten, whatever it may be. Before we jump into the numbers then quickly, if we take a look at the dates in the top right hand corner, we can see this was created back in 2019 and was last seen today on March 7th, 2022. So this is a tried and tested product over a number of years. The reactions themselves are obviously pretty good too. We can see in the bottom left corner here, 16,000, 1,000, 13,000 shares, which is awesome, um, and 23,000 comments. Just to take a quick look of the actual post on Facebook, it's always a useful exercise to check out the comments. Um, and just to point out a strategy that this page is using, they're taking the time to respond to the majority of people who are commenting on their post. In fact, let's go for newest, um, just to see if they are still active. We'll let these loads up. So we can see people are still commenting nine hours, 13 hours ago, 16 hours ago, one day ago, still an active and current product. And even the page itself is still taking the time to respond to people, which is a great sign. People want to know half the battle for a business advertising on Facebook. If you're not a household name, half the battle is coming across as being trustworthy. People want to know that you are a real legitimate business because more and more people are becoming savvy to scams and being more cautious and know the sorts of things to look out for. So so by being active within the actual post itself and answering questions and talking to customers, it just comes across as much more trustworthy because you're humanizing the brand. If we take a look at the Shopify store selling this product, then we can tell straight away it's a debutify store. They're selling the products for $30, which in my opinion is pretty expensive, but they probably have to sell it at that much. Um, in order to make a profit. They have this nice add-on for the size chart, which is a nice little touch, just makes it super easy, super easy, super easy 
for anybody coming on this um, store to see exactly what size they need. In terms of the actual product images themselves, I'm not a big fan of them to be honest. They're using different colors. There's no mention of the actual brand it is themselves. So it just goes to show that even if you're using very basic images, these are probably imported across. In fact, these ones you can see, they've put their actual brand in on, which is a lot better. I'm a big fan of this. What they've also done is they've trademarked the name Magic Tubby, which gives off that impression of a original seller of the product, original design of the product, original manufacturer um, and therefore it kind of establishes them as the brand leader if you like for the product we can also see they have numerous add-ons from the debutify theme um, this one to kind of create scarcity we've mentioned the size chart they have these different um, bundle offer upsells and these ones here are called product bullet points moving on to where we can source this product what you need to search for on aliexpress is dog paw cleaner you can see there's multiple different variations so i'll leave it up to you to decide which one it is that you want to sell and whether you try and go for one that's as similar as possible to magic tubby but we can see that you can source these um, let's choose one with a decent amount of orders so we'll sort by orders and we'll go for the one that has the most we can see they're offering free shipping so at the very most i think these guys were one of the most expensive too um, nine dollars eleven twelve eight eighteen so i think it depends on which one you go for but even at nine dollars these guys were selling it for thirty dollars you're still making in excess of twenty dollars per sale which is enough room to make a profit on the front end with the pet niche it goes without saying there's tons and tons of other products which you can use as upsells um, to bump up that profit margin even further and so with that being said to finish the video off let's go through the numbers the beauty of videos on facebook is facebook will actually tell you exactly how many views the video has um, to get to we can start with that and we can get a much more accurate representation of truly how much money this facebook ad has actually made so we can start with 7.2 million I think that's right. So 7.2 million, uh, we can times this by our click-through rate of 2%. With a product like this in the pet niche, it's gonna be a lot higher, but we'll be conservative. So 0.02, which gives us approximately 144,000 link clicks on this product. We can times this, of course, by the conversion rate again with a cheap product like this thirty dollars i used to sell pet products in the past this was going back a couple of years to be fair of conversion rates of like seven percent nowadays it's in and around sort of five um, so i'm going to go for four percent again that's still quite conservative in my opinion if i had to guess it's probably a lot higher than that but either way let's go for 0.04 percent um, and see how many orders that translates into, which is 5,760 orders. We can times this by the selling price of $30. I would guess they have some upsells. I think $30 was for the smallest size as well. So again, this is being super, super conservative, which gives us a total revenue generated of $172,800. Given my experience of products like this in this particular niche, if I had to guess, um, if I was a betting man, I'd probably double that figure to be honest so again if you are looking for a product to test that's current verified and is going to sell well all year round more so here in the uk through the winter months although to be honest here in the uk there's no such thing as summer really there's always going to be those days which a dog gets wet and muddy and therefore it's probably going to be a good product that sells all year round and so with that being said then guys i'm going to wrap the video up there if you're still watching i really do appreciate it thank you very much make sure you let me know if you are still watching by either hitting a like on this video or leaving a comment down below one final quick message before you go if you are looking for a mentorship with myself um somebody to kind of take you from scratch from day one literally without anything start from scratch from the ground up and hold your hand through the entire shopify dropshipping building process and in 60 days build a business that is bringing in sales on a consistent basis every single day make sure you check out my ecom accelerator program it is quite exclusive due to the amount of time i put into each and every person we are currently full but there is a waiting list so if you do want to get a notification of when those spaces open up make sure you join it um, if you want me to send over the link for more information just leave a comment down below of accelerator and i'll reply to your comment with the correct link and information thanks again for watching guys and see you in the next one